We are going to put two targets on the spine of the scapula, of the, of the right scapula of this buffalo. I'm going to uh, put with some saliva two little leaves and then we're going to back you off about 30 paces and I want you to shoot and hit each leaf. And then we're going to dissect it and look, take out the scapula and see what these bullets do. Because the spine of the scapula is a serious test for any bullet. And we just want to see if it, the bullet will, can get through the spine, get through the scapula and into the chest cavity. That will be the ultimate, I believe, the ultimate test for expanding bullet of any caliber that's suitable for buffalo. We're going to shoot slightly lower down on the scapula now, on the, on the second mark. Well, basically, I'm sure once the, the skin's come off, I can probably we're going to probably find three or four bullets underneath the skin, which will take those out. We'll wash them and weigh them straight away, and then <clears throat> I want to take the shoulder blades off each one. And we'll take all the meat off the shoulder blades, and then when the pluck is out, we'll look at the, the chest cavity from the inside to, to gauge, and we can measure the, the permanent wound channels of your calipers from the inside, because that'll be how big the hole is going into the chest cavity. Okay, so. Which this is the animal's right hand side. So this is probably the one you gave it to him on the shoulder. Remember that you said you gave him one on the shoulder when it was lying down. Yeah. So what's happened here is that the, the bonding has strengthened the petals definitely. Very good, very nice. You can actually see quite clearly here that the that the bonding has uh, stabilized the petals. But we'll see. This one's obviously come through the scapula. It's come through both scapulas. We'll open it up once the chest cavity is open. I mean, that, that really has opened up very well, right? Yeah, it has. And you can actually see, look at it, has gone through bone. You see how it's... Deformed it. Yeah, that's actually the... Definitely. So that's gone through bone and then it's stopped against the other bit of the skin. Oh, that's one that's come through the... Oh, yeah. Is that one of the test ones? I'm sure this is one. This is, I'm sure this is one of the test ones. That's very much more damaged. But this is, the, this is why we shot it onto the... Double scapula. Onto the double scapula, yeah. And that's come out through the through the second scapula. We'll take both the scapulas off. We'll clean both the scapulas to have a look. The bonding's made a massive difference because these would have all broken off. I think this is one one of the test ones. One of the test ones. That's very much better, eh? So we'll take that and we'll clean that up. And it looks like indefinitely this bonding is stuck to the to the petals. See the petals are rolled over, but they're nice and jagged. So that's what's giving these. Nice big wound channels is the cutting effect of these odd jagged bits. That's almost textbook perfect. And recovered under the opposite side in the forearm. So it's gone obviously gone right through the chest cavity. And uh, probably only encountered uh, two ribs on the way through. It doesn't look like it's hit the scapula. 0.86, eh? Mm -hmm. That's more than doubled in diameter. And the other one is 0.83. Yeah. So that's perfect. Jesus, that's about that's pretty textbook there. And look at this. And that's geez, that's worth it's worth framing that. Uh, one point one point three seven inches. Okay, so the permanent wound channel. channel the permanent the entry permanent wound channel through the rib cage one point three seven. Call it one point four inches. One here, probably through a shoulder blade much bigger. This one has your two inches, 2.1. And this one here, uh, just on say almost one inch. And what's actually happened, the bullet is obviously fully expanded by the time it hit the first rib, and it just blew these pieces out into the lungs, which is these are called secondary projectiles, and they. Uh, they travel in different directions and they shred the lungs and it increases significantly to, to the wound, wound, wound channel size and wound channel effectiveness. It's made a huge difference to be able to bond them. I'm actually quite, Im quite impressed to be honest.